29 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Our patient here is um, from out of town and she desires to have a total body lift. So we're going to go through the stages of the total body lift and how I kind of plan the surgeries and divide the surgeries. Um, I always tell patients I don't sell surgery. We are booked in advance for months and my job is to educate them and let them make a decision. Uh, patients come to me sometimes for one surgery, they sometimes come to me for 20 surgeries, which is a total body lift. Ultimately, it's their prerogative and their decision. Um, so, what bothers you? Uh, the stomach. That's it? Well, oh, uh, the most! <laughs> the stomach and then this. And stomach. the arms. And okay. the arms. Um, I got a little under my chin. Okay. And, and then oh, this too. Okay, I'm going to go through everything. Okay. Um, I'm going to make the chin is the easiest. If you want to do correction of the skin laxity, especially after losing hundred over 100 pounds of weight, um, you need to have an extended neck lift. So most facelift surgeries are mainly about the face and the neck, mm -hmm. but with weight loss, facial changes, the neck becomes worse than the face typically. Right. So you need to do a lot more on the neck, meaning that you may need an incision here under the chin. You will need incisions that go behind the ear and come all the way back. And I have extended this way too much for a lot of weight loss patients because the amount of skin of the neck is tremendous. And you correct some of that with lifting the face but some of the rest of it is, is way too much. So you gotta keep cutting it and that becomes an extended neck lift. So the long answer to your short question is you need more than a chin correction. You'll end up needing a face and a neck lift, okay? And we can talk about that. Um, for the arms, as you guys can appreciate, she has over two, two and a half inches of just the armpit that has become loose. So starting here, when I'm think, looking at this picture, what I see is excess upper arm skin, three inches in the front, two inches in the back, and it's probably more than that if it wasn't wrinkling. I see axillary or armpit sagging. I see horizontal or circumferential chest excess. And I see, can I rotate this three times? keep on rotating and I see significant upper and mid back skin laxity. When I say significant, it's actually worse than her lower back. Look at that. You're talking about 12 inches of skin. And if you do that, keep on rotating so a little bit more. I mean, look at that. If I just do an upper, come, come towards me. Perfect. Then. If I just do a, a bra line upper body lift, you can argue that she may not even need a lower body lift. Tremendous. Was your upper body bigger than your lower? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. When your upper body is bigger and you lose that weight, then your upper body is going to need more surgery. When your thighs were bigger or you were a pearl shaped body, then your lower body is going to need more surgery. But how would I do this? I would probably, if you were on the operating room table, I would start the surgery on her back and I would be cutting this much skin. As we said, it's probably about 12 inches, maybe 10 inches, it doesn't matter, but this much skin. And then this will go all the way back through her midline, okay? And then to the other side so that we can, look at that, lift that up. So after I have cut all of this, and the marking and the planning of these surgeries is actually more difficult than the surgery. And that's what experience counts for. After you cut all of this, then I would be rotating my patient to her front. And look where my hand is. Look how low we are. We are actually on her abdomen. So she's going to need this incision to be brought up into her. Stay like that. So we are here and her breast incision is here. So this needs to come all the way up here. So this becomes a reverse tummy tuck. And I need to do that in order to maximize the excision of the skin 
over her flanks. Otherwise, if you cut less so that you are closer to this incision, then she's not going to get as much benefit. She's going to still have some of the rolls showing. Then on the front, and I'll work on this arm, we'll be, we would be cutting her all the way from the elbow, removing all this skin. I'm going to bring, is your shoulder stiff? No? You no. good? She's only 29, so yeah, no, no, no joint problems. Then we'll be cutting all of this skin about four to five inches and then lifting her armpit all the way up and reconstructing it at a higher position like that. Then we'll be cutting on the sides of the chest and doing a horizontal chest correction, removing five inches of skin and then by that time we are done here so we are like this already and then we'll be lifting and doing a reverse tummy tuck and lifting this up and then from that point do you want to have implants do you want to just use your own breast tissue to augment your breast uh, whatever is the best either of them are good it depends whether you want to get a natural result or an augmented result uh, At the age of 29, I would go augmented. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll probably be doing a dermal bra suspension breast lift okay. with internal bra reconstruction. You have a good double D cup size. Yeah. I can use all of your breasts and put it up here. Yeah. And that's probably what you want. Yes. You want to be more natural looking.